Welcome back to more Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, everybody. Alrighty, so last time we defeated that freaking dude. Who the hell are you? Oh, you can go back to digging. That's cool. Let's enter your house and just rob everything now that you're not here. Oh, wait, there's people here. Never mind. I mean, I'm pretty sure that there's nothing here. Like, nothing important. I guess I'll just talk to you. Okay, it's just telling me about Dewford and Slayford and shit. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. <clears throat> yeah, so. I guess in this video, all I'm going to be doing is, um, well, I don't know, maybe I can finish up everything that I can in, uh, do for it, possibly. Oh, shit, I just remember, I need Flash, don't I? Who the hell can use Flash? Oh, that's not good. I need a Flasher. Damn it. Because you still need Flash in this game, don't you? I don't know who can learn Flash, actually, I have no idea. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. There really aren't that many Pokemon who can do Flash early. Like, I know Shroomish can do it, but... Oh, wait, I need to talk to you. This guy. Wait. What? Where you at? You're not there anymore. Oh, here you are. <clears throat> okay. Yes, I got your parts. Ooh, this time I get a Great Ball. Okay, that's nice. That's really nice. I like it. I I live it, really. I was gonna say I love it and I like it, and then live it came out. It's like a combination of both. So this right here is the Devon Corporation. It basically is a corporation that makes special Pokemon devices or something, I don't know. Okay, so I got warped to the third floor, I think. That's cool. Okay. Would like to have a word with us. Or oh, with me, sorry. Please, go ahead. Okay, I shall. Hello, President. I'm Mr. Stone, the President of the Devon Corporation. Okay. Yes, that's right, I helped twice. I helped him twice, so give me something really amazing, please. Pokenap plus for... Okay, let's see, let's see. Now what, now what? You can use the buzznap function. Okay, what is that? The latest news from around the region and from your own friends anytime and any place. Alright, awesome. I must deliver a letter to a person known as Steven, and the location is Duford. How does one get to Duford, you may ask? That's a good question. It's actually to the west of, um, Petalburg, talking to Mr. Briny, and he shall- Yeah, I mean, basically what you're saying here, okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go take care of this shit. See you later, dude. I'm gonna go all the way down. Yeah, so I think you're in the second floor. Um, You can actually come back here later in the game. Did I just sit in the chair accidentally? I think I did. Yeah, you can come back here later in the game and talk to um, one of the guys in there, and they will make your claw fossil or root fossil into a Pokemon. Yep. The thing is, you don't get that until much later in the game anyway. Okay, May, why are you standing right outside the Devon Corporation? Like, that's... That's so weird. Like, you didn't know I was there. You weren't waiting for me, right? You were just standing there, and it's like a coincidence. That's what the game is trying to do. But why would you stand right outside this building? It doesn't make any sense. You passed by Mr. Briny. Okay. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Well, guess what? I'm gonna go there. No, but I still need a flasher, though. Like, how do I get a flasher? I need somebody who can flash. I don't know any Pokemon aside from Shroomish who can actually do that. Alright, so now that we're going on the way back with Cut, it's nice to cut all these trees to get some good items. Such as this back here. Which is a revive. Revives are pretty rare early in Pokemon games. Which means that it's pretty nice to have these. Also, wasn't there a way to like get over here? I think they took that out. There used to be a way to get down there, I think, but whatever. Alright, so on this side now, to the east of Petalburg Woods. There's gonna be something awesome. Oh damn, an encounter. I mean, hopefully it's a flasher. It is a Cascom, which I believe cannot use flash. Damn it. Shit. I mean, I can still try to catch you. I can use like a, um... I can use a tackle. No, no, that might actually kill you though. You're only level 6. Shit! I should have used Mudslap. I'm an idiot. 
Mud Slap would have been... Then again, he couldn't even use. That's stupid. Flash. Hello, you. Yep. Miracle Seed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, basically it buffs up grass type moves on the holder. Which I don't have any yet. What the hell is that? What is this? What? Oh, that's a slack off. Can he use flash? But yeah, see, with this new uh, feature of the Pokemon Nav introduced in this generation, it does become much easier to obtain rare Pokemon. Slackoth is usually a very rare Pokemon. I think so. I think he is. Alright, let's go ahead and use a, um... A mud Slap? Yeah, that's the weakest one. That's the weakest attack. Hopefully it doesn't kill you. I don't think it will. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Yawn? That's not good. I'm gonna fall asleep. Shit! I gotta catch him now. I'm gonna save my great balls for something else. Yeah, I don't know if it's picking Flash. I was hoping for a Shroomish, honestly, but... Ugh, man. Okay. I did it. Got it. It's cool that you still get experience, though, for catching Pokemon in this game. Because that used to not be a thing. Okay, I'm not going to use you either, so I'm just going to, yeah, do that. I really need a Shroomish, though. Is there anything else here? Oh, yeah, there's an item right here. An X attack, I see. Okay. And then you. Okay, that's nothing important. Hmm, what about on this side? Oh, damn! What is that? That's a slack off. Which I really don't care for. You were spotted. Oh wait, I can... Oh, that's weird. I kind of want to shroomish people. That's a cat scoot. But like I said, I'm pretty sure that I cannot flash. It doesn't seem like I could be able to flash. I mean, I might as well catch you. Because i got nothing else to do here. Okay, he's gonna use Harden. That's okay. Let's just use one more. Because I'm also trying to remember... You know, who can use Flash inside that cave. The Dufort cave. Because if nobody can do it there, I don't know how you're supposed to get a Pokemon that can use Flash. Aside from Shroomish. If you don't begin with uh, Torchic. Because I think Torchic can Flash. It's a fire type. I could be wrong about that, but I don't know. Because in that cave, there's Zubats, there's Makuhiras. I don't think Makuhiras can, or can they? Hmm. Aeron? I don't think Aeron can. Sable, I possibly can, but that's a fairly rare Pokemon. That can only be encountered later. Okay, whatever. That's good enough. I'm just gonna move on. Alright, so if I go down here, there should be... Well, there's you. Yeah, I know. Here's an item. Pokeball! Okay. I guess I'll just, uh... Get the hell out of here and move, um... Move south. Wait, I need to heal first. Actually, I can just heal over there. I do for it. Alright, Mr. Briny, I'm here for you. You! Yes, that's me. I'm gonna sail. A letter for Duford? Uh huh, I gotta deliver it to a guy named Steven at Duford. So let's sail. Oh, now this looks much cooler. Much, much better. Because in Gen 3. It just showed, like, the little ship moving, but, like, the sprites were still there, you know? But in here, I guess they make a... Yeah, they just made a, the cutscene. So you don't actually see the route. 
Okay. Ooh, Brawly the gym leader, huh? I see. Alright, so... I guess I'll just go in here then, why not? I mean, as you can see, I already have that many Pokemon. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? Damn. Okay, I don't think anybody in here gives me stuff. There's that girl. There's this dude. Super training. Huh. That's the gym. There's a fisherman. Yes. Oh yeah, I can get this. I obtained the old rod, which nobody gives a shit about. Because all you can catch are Magikarp. Possibly Tentacool, I don't know. Alright. Who are you people? What the... That, that's creepy as hell. He just sat right behind... Oh my god. Please leave. I'm, I'm getting out of here. My protagonist is being weird and creepy. Alright, so what's this building here? It's a silk scarf. Oh, why, thank you. A silk scarf. Who should I give this to? Hmm, I don't know. I believe that's pretty much it here, though. This building, what is this? Dufort Hall? Oh, yeah, that's garbage. Yeah, where, like, everybody says the same term or something. Poison Festival. Wow. Yeah, um... Basically, you can create a term or something, and then, like, everybody in that family uses that term. It's kind of weird. It's funny, because the words, or the terms adult and the word toys can be found and make the term. You can literally put adult toys. And then everybody will be talking about adult toys. It's so damn funny. Slack off. Okay, what level are you? I really need to see this, because I do not know. 13, that's not bad. Let's use a mud shot. This should do a decent amount of damage. Yep. And you're speedy fall. Like you really need oh my god. You're freaking slow, dude. Let's use a water gun. Alright, so that's one trainer down, but there should be another guy over here somewhere. I can also just go up north to get an item, I think. Or... Whoa! This is designed a little bit differently. There used to not be a fisherman all the way over here in this corner. There might be a trainer. Yep. He is a trainer. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Magikarp. Okay, this guy's getting one-shotted. No doubt about that. Alright, so that's one down. Please don't be another magic or else you're just gonna give me shitty experience, which I don't care for. Tentacool. Alright, Tentacool is a part poison. Poison types are weak against ground types. Whoa, whoa, what? Really? That is extremely surprising. That was super effective. I mean, I know Tentacool's best stat is Special Defense. But it's really that high? The fact that you survive a super effective Mud Shot? Oh my god. That is very impressive, dude. I'm just saying. Like, I'm just saying. There's a Swimmer there. That's funny. Okay, another Pokemon Trainer. Let's fight. Let's battle. Okay, I need to shut up about saying that. Kinda cool. Okay, this guy's gonna survive. I'm kinda shocked about that though, because what the hell? Dang. Mud shot. Okay, so this guy almost died. Toxic spikes? Ha, huh, useless, because I'm already on the field. Toxic spikes is so annoying. Especially if. They use it twice on you, because man, that's gonna badly poison anybody who freaking enters. Which is so irritating. Level 19. 
Okay. Gaining more attack than special attack. That's not good at the moment because I need some spe I need some um, special attack bonus stat. You know, I really do. Okay. Whoa. Wait, why isn't it dark? Isn't it supposed to be dark? TM70 Flash. Oh boy. Can anybody use this in my team? I'm going to guess no. Shit. That's what I thought. That's, that's what I thought. Who's going to be able to do this? Who the hell are these people? See, my question is, can Makuhita actually use Flash? A part of me feels like he can for some freaking reason. I, I might be right about that then. Um, let's use a Mud Slap, because I don't want to kill you. What? Oh, that's Fake Out. It's a move that makes you go first, and 100% chance to flinch the opponent. You may be thinking, that is OP, right? Yes, well, the thing is, it can only be used one time. The first time that you um send out your Pokemon, it can be used. But that's it. Every other time it's going to fail. Okay, are you shitting me? Are you kidding me? Hit five times, really. Okay, that should be good enough, right? Oh, really? You connect it again? Oh, God. Okay, you know what? It's time. It's time for the Pokeball. Here we go. Oh, dang. Focus energy. Okay, I'm gonna try another Pokeball here to see if it works. Um, if it does not work, I gotta unfortunately use another Mud Slap. Then I'm just hoping I don't crit. Okay, I got you. Please, no flash. Please, freaking no flash, man. I'm just saying. Because, like I said, if I can't find anybody, I'm going to have to either go through the dungeon without flash, which is going to be so painful, because I think they changed the mechanics. In the original one, it was a little bit differently in how it worked. Oh, you know what? What if I wanted to keep my Kuhi as a Pokemon, though? What level is he? 12. Or she. That's not bad. Um, it's a fighting type, which is what's really attractive. Because fighting types are great offensively. Who are these people? Oh yeah, let's let's try um let's try flash here. To see what Okay, nobody can use flash, dude. Why there's, like, only one Pokemon that can use Flash, and that's Shroomish. Seriously? It's kind of like in, I think it was Pokemon Red, that there was only one Pokemon who could use Cut if you didn't choose a starter who could, and that was Oddish, I remember. Like, oh my god, that's ridiculous. Don't force people to... Jesus Christ. Because now I don't have a single option. Nobody can do it. And I'm actually not even completely sure if Torchic can even learn Flash. I forgot, but whatever. I know Zubat can't learn it. I don't think Aeron can. Can Abra do it? I mean, Abra's too hard to get anyway. Because you have to get lucky with that first attempt. It's not like you can have Mean Look or Spiderweb at the moment to prevent them from going. Um, yeah, honestly, guys, I don't know what I should do. Because I don't think there's a single Pokemon except Shroomish that can learn Flash. Aeron, unless Abra can, but Aeron cannot. Zubat cannot. I'm pretty sure Tentacle cannot. Magikarp obviously can't. Uh, back in the mainland, uh, Zigzagoon, no. Puchan, no. Wurmple, no. Silquin and Cascoon, hell no. Slackoth, no. Oh my god, nobody can... Really? Like, that never occurred to me. Maybe it's because I always chose Torchic as a starter. I guess Torchic can actually learn it. Alright, so here's the gym, by the way. Just saying. Battle Girl Laura. Or Lara, whatever. Okay, that's a Meditite. 
Metatite is a pretty unique combination, consisting of Fighting and Psychic. It's really two types that I always like to consider rivals, like they rival each other. But uh, it used Detect. Detect is a move that protects Metatite for one turn from anything. Unless the opponent has the ability No Guard, which would be like Machamp or something, you know? Endure. Oh my god, this is an annoying Metatite here. Endure ensures that you um, remain with 1 HP. But the more you use it, the more often it can fail. Are you kidding me? Wow. Usually it fails in the frequency, I'm just saying. Okay. Alright, so Battle Girl Lara is down. Let's move on to the next person. What did he switch this for, by the way? Oh, that. Can I not go? Shit. That's actually pretty easy. Yeah, no, see, the flash mechanics are different in this game. It's pitch dark. Because in, um, in Gen 3, you could actually get away with that dungeon without using flash. You really could. But in this one, it's going to be a little bit tricky, that's for sure. Wait, why did I... Dude, I'm going to try to stronger, man, seriously. Why did I use water gun? I'm an idiot. Uh, my shot. Alrighty. So I killed you. Which is- oh wait, that's it? Really? Alright, let's see. This one here. Alright, I got it. Sort of. Yep, I did. Whoa! Battle 3. The gym is a lot different, that's for sure. Okay, another Metatite. Which really shouldn't be a problem, because you already just saw me kill a couple, you know? Mud shot. Pretty good damage there. Speedfall Meditate. Well, I'm just gonna use that stupid Endure, isn't it? Or Detect. Or something. I knew it. I knew it. Wait, I just thought of something. If you use Detect or Protect and then Endure and then keep switching back and forth, is that an infinite chain? Because they're not the same move. Like, if you use either in succession, yeah, they can fail, but what if you alternate Protect, Endure, Protect, Endure? Does does the algorithm, algorithm of the game say, oh, it's still technically the same move, so you can't use that trick, or does it lead to infinite? I never actually thought of that, oh my god, until just now. But that's crazy. Alright. I beat you. And I get a level up. Battle Girl Tessa. Hmm. Okay, I can't see shit over the. Well, I can go that way. But what's on the right side then? Uh, is there anything over there? I don't know, but... Hmm. Okay, like that, like that, and then this way. Uh... What the heck? Oh, boy! Okay, I'm gonna use a potion. I mean, I'm already here. I don't want to waste more time, man. I really don't want to waste more time. Like, I don't want to go back. Too freaking lazy. Um... What are you doing? Whatever. I have a revive anyway, so even if my Marsh Tom dies, I have so many spare Pokemon that I can just use a revive in the potion. And I'm pretty sure I got this. Okay, so here's Brawly. The second gym leader, obviously. So you want to challenge me? Hell yeah. Let's, 
Let's battle. All right, versus Brawly. Brawly is known to use the fighting type, and he has the, I think it's called the Knuckle Badge, although I could be wrong about that. All right, begins with the Machop. What level are you, like, 17 or something? Let's see. 14? Oh my god. What the hell? I'll take it. Much shot. That did a lot more than I thought. Now, unfortunately, he's going to heal, but you know what? That's fine because, oh no, you lowered my defense, you asshole. That's gonna make the Makuhita super powerful against me. Shoot. Okay. Two water guns will do it then. Yep. And I'm gonna outspeed you, so I got you. But you did unfortunately lower my defense by one point, by one stage, I mean. Alright, here's my Kohita. Level 16. I'm gonna begin with. Oh god. Let's just do a mud shot. Let's just be aggressive. Whoa, that, that's doing more than I thought. Knockoff? I avoided it? What? How much accuracy do we have? Oh wait, no, it's because I have the Bright Powder, that's right. I was like, doesn't knockoff have 100% accuracy? Okay, this gym was so easy. Even if that knockoff hit me. Because you can be like, oh, you got lucky. Even if that knockoff hit me, I would have still beat him. Like, next turn. So it's not like, what the hell? Okay. Well then. The Knuckle Badge. Bulk up. I love this freaking move. It is so cool. It buffs up your attack and your defense by uh, one stage. It was actually one of the better um, moves, like this one in Call Mine back in Gen 3. I mean, since then they've had a couple more, you know? There's been some that have just been really good. I mean, Sword Stance still had a lot of great uses, and it still does. But, there's this one move called, like, was it, is it like Shell, like Shell something? That, like, Cloyster can learn in a couple of their Pokemon? It is the most broken freaking stat bonus ever, but the good thing is that they gave it to shitty Pokemon. Like, Pokemon with generally garbage stats. But... The move in itself, it's so broken. Like, if you actually gave that move to somebody who was good, oh my god. That would be broken. Alright. Do oh, I healed? Um, I want to see just how dark it actually is going to be, though. Because, like, if it's super dark, I'm going to... Well, I'm gonna for sure run into a couple problems, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I just want to like make it, maybe make it to the next zone. Possibly also. What's down there? Nothing. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Uh oh. An encounter. Gee, I wonder what's gonna happen. That's a Zubat. I kind of want this. I kind of want this guy. The Zubat is a pretty cool Pokemon. It's just that, like, I mean, I like Crobat. You know, I really do. And Crobat can actually learn fly. Oh, that's perfect for catching. Um, sort of want that. You know what? Actually, you know what? Screw it. No, I'm not gonna do that. Because I'm like, oh, Crobat's gonna learn fly, but that's a freaking Crobat. Do you know how long it's gonna take me to actually get a Crobat? Oh my god, I'm not gonna do that. I better just catch a Taylor who can fly right away, you know? Okay, I don't like Encounter Raid already. What the hell? Makuhita! Time to kill you, Makuhita. I should have bought some repels. You know what, I need to buy some repels and slate board. I'm just saying, but I need to for sure buy some. What the? I thought you would for sure die. Focus energy. What the hell? Wrong button. <laughs> you use fake out. You dumb dumb. Alright, let's go. Nice, nice. I'm in the next... Wait. It's not dark? Or is that the next room? What?
What the hell's going on? Wait, isn't that is that Steven? Who the hell is that? Oh my god. They significantly changed this dungeon. Wow. I found him right away. With terrible strength. But his appearance here, it seems somehow different than Mega Evolution. Okay. Hmm? You are? I'm your worst nightmare. I'm gonna beat you one day. In a battle. Foreshadowing. My apologies, my name is Steven. Okay. A letter for me? Yes. Why, thank you. Let me see. I will give you this TM. Please accept it. It contains my favorite move. Steel Wing. Pretty useful move. In certain situations. The accuracy is a little bit low at 90, but I prefer if it was like 95. But, whatever. A primal world. Lost thousands of years in the past. A legendary Pokemon of tremendous power became humanity's greatest threat. The terror aroused by that power is clear to see in this ancient artwork. Yes. But not all power is terrible. Your Pokemon are clearly- oh, yeah, because mine are powerful. <laughs> what the hell? Hmm. Good luck to you. I must be going now. Okay. Sure thing, Steven. A symbol. Interesting. That right there, by the way? Is that, um... I'm trying to see. That is Kyogre, yeah. That's cool. I guess the imprint is different if you're playing Omega Ruby. Alright, so I'm going to end the video right here. I guess I'll meet you outside the, uh, the cave in the next episode. Thank God no flash was needed. Oh my God, I was freaking out. So, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone.